Uh, but let's jump into what we're going to talk about today. So last week on the podcast, we were talking about what are our three R's, Matthew? They were... They re were reflect, reimagine, re and reconnect. Right. Reflect, reimagine, reconnect. And I gave you some pointers and tips around that to get you into the mindset. And it's honestly, I'm sharing things. I'm, I always take this time of the year to do exactly that. Reflect, reimagine, and reconnect are words that we are really close to in, in uh, WBNL coaching. And so we, we gave you some tips. So we'll put a link to that uh, here. I'll add that to these notes here that we can put underneath this Facebook group and in YouTube, if you're watching it on YouTube. But today, Matt, I want to share three things that I'm super inspired about. And honestly, two of them I've used before, and one of them is a new discovery. And I've mentioned it on the podcast, and I kind of want to dive right in to uh, talk about this. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen, and I have notes here. So let me let me start with the first one. So Saturday, Saturday, can you see that? Okay, I can yep, make it fine. If it if need be. So yep. Saturday, uh, I I follow Hal Elrod, and I've read his book, a couple of his books, The Miracle Morning, which I highly recommend if you've never gotten one. You just need the main one. They he went on to create the Miracle Morning for. Uh, real estate, for teachers, for all kinds of things. Um, but you can just do the Miracle Morning. But anyway, they, he's been working for quite a while now on a documentary movie and it launched. It was like a $20 deal to be involved in this um, Saturday launch where they showed the video, you know, via uh, a streaming kind of a thing. It was really kind of cool and people could chat and they took live questions and so forth. Oh my gosh, this movie was so moving and inspirational. I know his story, but it's it was a combination of his story. And if you don't know about Hal, Hal was the a Cutco. Remember Cutco knives? Uh, realtors used oh, it yeah. as a closing gift. They always try to come into your offices and, and sell an excellent closing gift. Anyway, he was like a top salesperson, like 20 years old, even younger. Very driven guy. And he gets into a horrendous car wreck. A drunk driver hits him head on. He's to pronounce dead on the scene. And the rest of his story is how he overcome the odds. And he kind of came up with this miracle morning, which is the savers, which is um, he read all these books and Jim Rohn, something Jim Rohn had written, motivated him, buddy, people trying to help him. But anyway, he came up with this thing called savers, which is short for an acronym for silence, meditation, prayer. Um, I is for, I mean, I, I always do that. Like I'm spelling silence. Savers is S A, A is affirmations, V visualization, E exercise, R reading and S scribing or journaling. And over the years, there's a huge movement. People follow this. He came up with a six minute morning. So if you say, I don't have time to get up in the morning and do that. Well, they have a six minute version where you do one minute of each of those things. And everybody and has minute, six minutes. Huh? Everybody's got six minutes. Everybody's got six minutes and you can right. do whatever, but go, I've got, so just go check out and here's what he was talking about. So he came in afterwards and they were talking to the guys that made the film and so forth. And what's great is people are talking about uh, their experience of, Oh, that was his first thing he overcame. Then of course he gets cancer. He has leukemia and then it went and it came back and it's his story is just amazing. I don't want to ruin it. You got to go, you know, either read the book or, the book doesn't cover his cancer journey, but this movie is super inspiring. You think you're having a bad year or bad life or whatever, yeah. go see what this guy did and what his mission is. And he's connected with his passion. And the thing that I really got out of that movie yesterday, because I'm on this same journey, is he was a bit of a workaholic. He was driven to 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 basically make things happen in his business world and get to the top. And that's what he did with Cutco. Then he did that with this whole movement that became how many people watched the Miracle Morning and I mean, read it and, and groups all around and how people were inspired. And now we have, you know, and then he gets married and he has two children and then he has cancer and cancer taught him that we're here for one reason. And it's our relationships. It's about love and our relationships, which I always keep coming back to. And all these other things that we do outside of ourselves, if we don't have those things, um, then you know what's the point right? right so oh my gosh it was just so moving so you can go to mymiraclemorning.com and get um inf information on the movie and so here's the thing that i want to share a couple things he says you know win the morning win the day 100 percent. i've been talking about daily routines right. um, and i am and then one of the things i love that he says he goes i've lived my life since all these things that have happened to me with 
er, with 30 day challenges all the time. Like his, his advice was pick something in your life that you want to work on and just commit and focus. And it's what I'm going to talk about next week on our podcast, intention and focus and using that Bagua map for feng shui. Awesome. But live your life in these 30 day challenges. You can do something for 30 days. And then generally they say it takes about 60 something days to make a habit. But still, I like the idea of that. So he's got a thing here. When you go to mymiraclemorning.com, you can download all this free stuff um, and get into this, join their community on Facebook and start having a community helping you with what you want to focus on in the next 30 days or to do this daily routine. The saber routine is just one of them, right? Yep. But later you can do 30 day challenges for yourself. We've tried it with gratitude and different things, sure. but I like the idea that every month you choose something to work on. So highly recommend that. Go check that out. Go watch that movie and see if you can adapt. And he was even like, look, if it's too much for you, choose one of the savers and focus on that for 30 days. So maybe you choose just getting up and meditating or praying, uh, you know, and so on. So the next one, the next resource. So love that. Got to recommend it highly. The next one I want to tell you about is Christine Kane. So I don't know how this lady came into my life. I don't know if she was through some of the things I follow. It was recommended. And I get so many emails. I generally just like, okay, I can't look at anything else. I can't, but I'll just peruse. What do you do, Matt? Do you, I read the headline. That's why the subject line is so important. Absolutely. I read the subject line and I make a decision on whether or not I'm going to not delete it right away. I might, if I don't delete it, then that means I might get back to it <laughs> until I do another purge and then I either look at it or delete it. What do you do? I usually, no, I said pretty much do the same thing. It's like you, you do the random scan, right? And you come, you know, do that. I did that this morning. I mean, my gosh, ever since, you know, during the holiday season, you get a hundred emails in the morning when you, when you open your email up, you know, so you've got to do the quick run through and do your delete and then come back. So I did that. As a matter of fact, I'm sure I'm going to buy a gift today from somebody that I've been, that I've been avoiding for a while and I will go onto their site and it'll be the last, the last, you know, pickup item. So Oh, that's so funny. I know we're getting down to the well, no, that's the whole point. Like, you know what? This is where consistency makes such a such a big thing, right? It's like, you know, I they they are consistent about getting that stuff to me all the time. And you know, today's probably gonna be the day. So I'm telling you that works. Like mm -hmm. that's that that tactic, even though you find it annoying, if it's of value, let's just digress for a second because right. it does impact our business for us, for for real estate agents, for real estate professionals that you're trying to stay in touch with people, you have to have a consistent value-based touch and if it's something people want they won't they Absolutely. won't they might delete it but if you consistently do it they're not unsubscribing you know then right. you got somebody who you, you're continuing to build trust and rapport with well that's what happened when i got this email and what caught my eye is she was launching a new book and the email was well written and soul source entrepreneur is the name of the book so i immediately went i gotta know what that is that's so cool so I went and read about it. I read some reviews and I went ahead and got it. I got it and I started reading it. I was sharing with Matt. I haven't read a book in a bit. He knows that I always read. I don't read fiction. I'm always looking for new uh, nonfiction books. And this one got me. It hooked me because she is real. I love the way she writes. It's the way she talks. She's no nonsense, filters. She doesn't care what other people are thinking. And I mean this in a way that she's authentic. Yeah. She's authentically her herself and she's not worried if the other part of the marketing world and the business world says that you well, you're too woo woo and this and she really speaks to all of that and it really spoke to me highly recommend this book if you are more creative and you you know it's a nice balance because she's a super successful entrepreneur uh she's a American songwriter, really. So she's, you look up her Wikipedia, you know, she's been, she's written tons of songs and she created her old indie label and she promoted it all herself. And that got her into the business world, but she always did everything. This book is all about her journey of how she was like, I don't care what these other people say and hiring different people to try to help her. And they're like, this is not going to work. And she trusted right. herself. And it launched a incredibly successful coaching company called Up Level You where she helps other entrepreneurs follow the path of how you can trust your inner guidance, your intuition, set intention. You're not, you don't, it's not like the secret. She actually talks about the secret because I love her because I'm reading her and I'm like, Oh my God, I've said that, or I believe that. And when you find somebody and I'm just sharing, this is for me, you got to find what works for you. But if the things I'm saying are resonating with you, that you really do believe in um, right. setting an intention and moving forward and, and that you create, 
your life. It doesn't happen to you, then you'll love this. So a couple things as I get into it, I've just been devouring her information because I just love it. So her podcast, honestly, she started the podcast as she launched the book. So she's up like to 25 episodes. They're brilliant. The one I'm about to listen to right now is your ideal client. Um, but anyway, 100% love, love her. I recommend it. And then great blog, great podcast if you go to christinecane.com. And then I put in the notes here, vision boards, which is something we've been talking about. And she does, she's done a lot of workshops on this, and she has a whole thing for people who want to run workshops on vision boards. But you can go get her complete 66-page guide on uh, vision boards. And it's not anything new if you're vision boards, except for I love a few things she's put in there. In other words, she's like, your supplies are magazines, get some glue, uh, rubber cement, you know, uh, scissors. <clears throat> okay. And you sp it's about setting intentions and doing some work first and then having that fun, you know, vision board experience. And she has, again, stories of how, what she's worked on. And you just don't put the stuff back to the idea of the secret. You don't just go, uh, here, you know, genie, let me rub on the, on the genie's lamp and magically the stuff comes to me. You have a set intention. You have to take action, right? And she talks to all those things. So you set your intention, you work on your subconscious mind, go back to these savers with Hal Elrod. You're working on affirmations and visualization. You set yourself up every day to create the life that you want, the life and business that you want. And that vision boards highly recommend that. And then the last tool, Matt, I'm using, I just did it this morning. I'm such a fan of Kelly Howell. I have been for years and brainsync.com guided visualizations. There's very, there's several free ones that you can get over there. And I'm going through her meditation masterclass right now. There's some science behind her visualizations. It's all about the binaural beat and the science behind left brain, right brain and certain tones and then subliminal messaging. And she has something for everyone. It's on attracting wealth to love to losing weight to if you want something specific to just inner peace and being able to sleep better. Um, I have, a, I, I just pretty much have a whole library of her meditations and I like them because they're guided and it helps me. And I'm going through her masterclass right now, which is very good on teaching, getting back to basics of meditation. And you know, it, it just starts with get up every day and do five or 10 minutes of meditation. And that's what I'm doing, but it, it helps me to listen to her. And I did that this morning. So three tools to help you guide yourself into the right mindset um, as we finish up this year. I just highly recommend you check one or all of them out. See what resonates with you. And if it's not any of these things, um, just, you know, find something that does. I think it's just about taking action, you know, Matt? Absolutely. Um, you know, and I was going to share some of these um, these things, but... I think that you could just go to them. Um, I don't need to bring those. I don't need to bring those websites up. But if you go to those uh, sites or just go check it out, or and if and if you're in the Facebook group here, uh, YouTube also, and you have a great tool or resource, share it with us. I always like to discover new things, new sure. things that are that are going to help help us help us stay on track. Right. Right. There it is. That's my, that is my, um, my tip, my tip, Your tip for today. And don't forget everyone. We have coach tips every Monday. We have Canva tips every Friday or every Wednesday. We have uh, the WBNO podcast every Friday and every Tuesday. And I thought I had this in here, but I guess I must, uh, must, must be a different banner. Every Tuesday we're doing tech tips. So four things a week. Uh, happen in here in the Facebook group. So, well, three of them in the Facebook group and the po podcast separately. So don't miss those. This come uh, tomorrow on our tech tip, we're going to do 360 cameras. And then on Wednesday, we are going to be talking about how you can um, enhance your newsletter. You know what, Matt, I like that. I want to, I'm going to start doing some, a KV core series. So if, if we get, if you set everybody up with the Canva setting up the things for the newsletter, then I'll do a tutorial on how to build it and, and um, how to build a, hyper local newsletter for can uh, kv core or whatever uh, crm you use but it'll be specifically for kv core users you'll be able to get a lot out of that perfect all right everyone make it a great day hey remember win the morning win the day like that